Okay guys, welcome back. <laughs> I'm going to do another flower, 3D flower for you. And uh, I'm using the Delcom Crystal Clear Resin. Still got lots left so I have to use it up for something. I can't use it for coasters, it doesn't work. So I'll use it for flowers. Right, uh, so this morning I did these two here. I haven't moved them because I don't want to touch them in um, navy and silver. So to, well, for this one I'm going to do orange and yellow. These are pigment pastes from Armour Art or Amore Art. I did one earlier today um, just using these with no white. My other colours, you know how I did the, um, the pink and purple one? Um, this one, these colours actually have white in the pigment paste. Uh, when I bought them, I, I asked the guy which ones have got white and which ones don't. So most, well, most of the ones that I bought have got white in them, but there's a few that don't. So I'm going to add white to them because when I did mine earlier today with just these, it didn't work. It kind of just floated on top. So it must need the white to sink it down. That's my theory anyway. I probably won't put the video up because it didn't work, but I did learn from it. So 20 grams of resin in my little cup. 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that's, that can be for the yellow. This can be for the orange. And then I'll keep a little bit for my glitter center. And then the rest will go in these coasters. These two are 14 centimeter coasters. They're a lovely size, I think, for coasters. So I need a little bit. Now I've got this. This is a really pretty orangey colored chunky glitter. So we'll pour a little bit of that in. I think that should look nice with the orange and the yellow. I just got an eight pack on eBay, different colors. I think it was about $17, something like that with including postage. Wasn't too much. Let's just mix that in, make sure I've got enough to make a paste. Yep, <laughs> I'll probably do it too much. That's right, it'll start setting soon. Now, because the day is getting warmer and I talk a lot, I've only waited 10 minutes today uh, instead of my usual 15 to start my video because it's uh, it sort of thickens up faster on a warm day and then depending on how long I talk as well, because I can talk. Um, it can thicken up and then it's too late and uh, your, your petals don't move when you when you heat them. They just stay put. They don't move. So, yeah, I thought I won't wait the full 15 minutes to start my video. I'll just wait 10 minutes to start my video. Let me just clean my stick off. That's my stir stick, so I can use that one again. Now, are these two... You haven't gone into that edge yet. Off you go. Let's just torch that. Oh, I dripped a bit. I really shouldn't have those two gorgeous coasters sitting right there. In a minute I'll, I'll move everything down a bit, but just so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, now these these are 100 gram bottles. The smaller ones like that come with a nozzle, but they were out of stock of most of these colors that I wanted. So I just went with the bigger colors and I bought, well, I already had these for when I did my blooms. Uh, I put them in there, keeping them upside down so that the paste will run down. So what I thought I would do is do two drops of paste of the color and two drops of the white and see how that goes. And then two drops of ink. One, 
do. Oops. Just wipe that off. And then two drops of this is tangerine alcohol ink. The paste was called orange. I think it was just plain orange. So two of you. And then two of the white. If I knew that the big bottles didn't come without a spout, I wouldn't have bought them. It's like squeezing toothpaste out this white. It gets a little bit on the end and then you just drop it in. The white drops are bigger than the coloured drops. I might have to add another drop of orange paste, depending on what colour I'm going to get. See, I, I bought the pigment pastes with the white in them specifically because I thought, well, they're going to give me a nice bright colour. Because when you add pigment paste to a white like this, it really dulls it down and it's not a very strong colour. Scraping that off the side to get the colour off the side. Mm -hmm. It's not that bright, but we'll go with it for now anyway. Um, and then the yellow. One, two, I'm actually going to go three because they're only little drops. I'm going to put an extra one in this one as well. And hopefully it won't be too much. Good experiment to see how far I can push the boundaries of how much um, paste I can actually add. I know when other people do this, they use five drops per ounce. So that was five drops, wasn't it? Because I did three of the orange and two of the white. So that was five. And I haven't got an ounce in here. One. squeeze a little bit till it comes to the end and then it drops in right so that's that so that's three drops of colored pigment paste two drops of white did I do the ink I don't think um, did I I can't remember I don't think so one two no I don't think I did two drops of ink and hopefully that will give us a nice shade of yellow. And I'm going to try something a little bit different with my petal piping today. Just because I can experiment. No point. I don't think there's any point doing exactly the same thing every time. You're not going to grow from that. You're not going to learn from that. All right. So I'm going to just move these over a little bit. Um, I've got my cups here with my piping bag in them, pour that in. Yeah, so I guess the only downside with having to add white is you're going to have more of a pastel color. So I guess that's okay, you just have to, you know, think, okay, well, these colors are gonna be pastel. And if I want a darker color, then I go with one of the others, which has got the pre-mixed white already in it and I've marked my bottle so I know which colors have got the white in them and which don't which is handy okay that's that can sit there for a minute I'll do the same with the orange see I, I don't feel as if I have to rush as much now because I've given myself that extra few minutes of uh, resting. Oh, the other thing, uh, like I don't know if this is right. I'm still experimenting, but my, this resin that I'm using, um, it has a work time or pot life of 30 minutes. 
So I've my little experiments are halve that and you should start piping your petals in 15 minutes. So half of 30. That's what I'm up to now. Um, it's only been about 25 minutes. So I'm, I'm about right. So if your resin has got a pot life of 40 minutes, maybe start with your petals at 20 minutes. Um, I know Petra, who's been doing flowers with me, we've been throwing ideas around with each other. Um, her, the resin she uses has got a really long pot life. It's actually um, 80 minutes. So I said to her, why don't you leave it to rest longer and start piping after it's been sitting for 40 minutes. So that's half the pot time. So I think she did that on the last one and it worked really well. So, so far it works. I mean, I don't know if it's going to work on all resins. If you've got a resin that sets up really, really quickly, like in 20 minutes, <laughs> you might want to start pouring your petals at 10 minutes. So that's just a guide anyway. So somewhere to start from, but um, have a play around with your resin and, and see see what it, how it works for you. Um, I did receive my stone coat countertops resin the other day. Haven't used it yet because I'm still playing with the Delcam. But on my next day off, I'm going to get that out and, and have a look at that and see what the um, pot life is on that one. Um, and have a little play. See how we go. Right. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you lies. I'm telling you lies. I started... Oh, I don't know. It's been about 20 minutes since I stopped stirring. So I need to get a riddle on. Cut that off there. And do the same with that one. And then I just do this. So that's a little bit thin for me. I think that's, and you're a little bit thin too. I like to have them a decent amount coming out. Not too much. Okay, that's about same just wipe my scissors off so that the resin doesn't dry on them righto let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit now I tried to do this on my other video and it flipped over <gasps> you know how it, like for a selfie mode oh my gosh Okay, so one of them I'm going to draw petals and then the other one I thought I'm going to try dots just to see how we go. So it's a pretty colour, isn't it? It's kind of a shimmery orange colour. It's got different sizes of glitter in it, which is nice. Now I have no idea really what I'm going to do here. I'm going to sort of go up and then come down. So one side will be straight and the other side will be kind of scalloped or scalloped. Like so. Oh, I should have put it on my turntable. It's too late now. I'm going to put a yellow one in between. like so <laughs> all right now I'm going to do the yellow one in between this one's not coming out as fast 
and see if I can kind of get them to overlap a little bit. Like so. have no idea guys what it's going to look like so I've just tried to make those top ones bigger because it's got a, a wider area I don't know now over here I'm going to do dots and see what happens if you do dots so I'm going to do try it and do dots. Actually, that's not really going to work, is it? I'm going to have to try and maybe go a bit slower and wipe after each one. That's going to be a pain. Unless I kind of touch the resin, that'll, that'll kind of stop it. Yeah, that'll work if I actually go in and touch the resin, that should kind of stop it from leaving a little trace. And we go. So I'm actually just touching the surface of the resin. Hope they're big enough. I don't know, some are bigger than others. I don't really know how like how much to use because I don't want it soaking well, like dropping back to the background, you know. And I'm not quite sure how many rows to do either. You're a bit small. I guess I can always go back over them if they look a bit small. Okay, more yellow. How's that looking? What if I need to go in and add some to these orange ones that look a bit small? That's just an experiment, isn't it? I mean, I don't know how much to use. I don't want to put too much on and then it's heavy and it sinks. So look at that. I've still got colour left. Right, let's get the torch out and uh, see if we can move these, heat them up a little bit and get them puffing up. Outside in, I think it just helps to make the petal effect if you go from the outside in. Just don't overheat it because it'll, um, the paint kind of um, splits if it's too hot. starting to puff up now so I'll leave it I won't won't heat it anymore um, I did that once and that the it just kind of split um, I've got one to show you mm. oh, I don't know where it is anyway it's doing its puffy thing so that's good and we'll see what happens with this one I'm hoping that they like elongate, like have little lines. That is starting to happen. 
So cross fingers that that works. This one, we've got some overlapping there. I've tried not to put the pigment paste directly on top of the other pigment paste because that's when you get your blobs. If it's too, too heavy with paste, it kind of sinks through to the back. So that's why I've kind of off-centered it a little bit there. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'll take you down for a close-up. Um, and then I'll come back in about half an hour just to see if anything's changed. Oh, it's getting windy outside. <laughs> My studio's going creaking, creaking. Can you hear that? Mm. Scary. All right. Look at the fold. I wonder what'll happen. I wonder what that will look like. Like on the other side, because I've done that kind of scalloping or scalloping, depending on where you're from, depends on how you say it. I say scallop. So it'll be interesting what it looks like on the other side. Hopefully we'll get some pretty effects. I don't know whether I've used too much paste, you guys. Like five drops, Ooh, that's a lot. When I started these, I was doing two drops of paste. Oh, look, they're touching each other. They got long. They're starting to elongate. And Look at that. I found that the petals from the Delcom uh, resin are, how do you say it, kind of more spiky. They're not as round as when I use the barns. So I'm going to have another go with the barns. I'm going to have a play with the stone coat, um, with flowers, and, and just see what the different resins do and which one I prefer the most. And when I've got it worked out, which ones I want to use, then I'm going to do a three-tier cake stand. But I don't want to do it yet until I've, I've perfected my flower technique because it's tricky and it's different with each resin. So, all right, I'll be back in half an hour and we'll see what's happening. Hey. It's been about an hour. I got a bit sidetracked. <laughs> Went and had lunch. And you know how I said I had that sort of scalloping? Well, it's kind of, kind of gone skis. There's a little bit of it there I can still see. Actually, oh no, it's still there. So this is what I was actually hoping for, that we get that kind of wavy, scallopy edge on the other side, because I can see, see that it's still there. See how it starts off dark and it gets light and then it gets dark and then it gets light again on the actual petal, the scallop. So hopefully it will stay and I can't see any blobs can you see any blobs underneath <laughs> we're looking down underneath I can't see any so I mean it doesn't mean that they're not there in the middle but oh that one's looking really pretty I could have put another I've got quite a big gap there and and there so I could have I guess put some more petals in but I didn't want to overdo it let's have a look at the other one now this one has spread as well. I guess if I'd done it a little bit slower, I could have made more of a a pattern, like a, a geometrical pattern where all the yellow was lined up and all the orange was lined up. But I was I just kind of went for it. <laughs> I've got a little bit of red in the center, and then we've got some color around, and then more red underneath so with the glitter so that's looking really pretty it's like oh look at that you get a different color it's like um you know what did they call it warp speed or something when they go through the warp speed and you get that light show i don't know what it's called but anyway that's that one all right so there they are happy with both of them i must say can't wait for tomorrow I'll unmold them quickly before I have to go to work tomorrow. All right, I'll see you then. Hey guys, it's the next day. Welcome, welcome. Right, 
Now these haven't really changed much from the little video that I showed you. But I'm very keen to see if there's any blobs anywhere. I can't see any. You know, sometimes I can sort of see them poking through underneath, but I can't see any. Just put that one out of the way for a minute so I can focus on this one. And let's see how it looks. I really like doing these big round ones. Be a nice set, you know, even though they don't all match, I think it'll still be a nice set of coasters. Well, it's a bit bendy still. This resin does tend to still be a bit bendy the next day, which I don't really like, but just another reason why I really don't like this resin. <laughs> okay. But look, I've got it. I have to use it, so I might as well experiment with it. See all the little bubbles? I just can't get them out because it's um, this this resin is for top coating. So normally you would do like a very thin layer and then torch, which would be perfect. You know, it's. I mean, I'm sure it's a perfect resin. It's just not perfect for what I'm trying to do with it. All right, without further ado, are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, it worked, you guys! It worked! Wow! I do wish I had a little bit more, you know, to fill in these gaps, but... Now, let's see if we can see the scalloping. Oh, there's some scalloping. There. See see how I... When I poured, I did that and that and that. I did that little S shape, and it's still there. Very pretty, hey? The colours are quite pale and sort of pastel-y. Love that orange centre. That just really makes it, doesn't it? A little bit of brightness there. No blobs, you guys! Woohoo! And look at that. You can see that scalloping there. And where the two have overlapped, we're getting a slightly different colour as well. Next time, I'll put more in to fill in these little gaps. So pretty. Do you like that one? I do. Love it. I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could paint the edge in um, maybe a rose gold because I've only got silver gold and, oh, is it bronze or is it rose gold? It's one or the other. Bronze would look nice. Not sure what it is. I'll have to have a little look. See what it is. Okay, the next one. Let's get that out of the way. Now, not super keen on this one, <laughs> but I wanted to experiment anyway. Just to see what the dots would do. It's fun experimenting. Let go! Let go of my coaster. Okay. So uh, not terribly exciting. Got some kind of wispiness happening here. It doesn't go all the way around though. Just on certain areas there's some wispiness happening. The um, orange looks nice though. That should be nice on the other side. Right, ready, go! Pretty much the same as what's on the front. Although a little bit more of a 3D look. Oh, we've got a few little few little blobs there at the end. That's pretty, hey, it makes a little bit of interest. So not my favourite, but as I said, I just wanted to see what it would do. Because I did dots and we've ended up with stripes. Oh, lines, a little laser show. Put that there. Put that there. Um, I'll just, I'll do, I'll take them outside and do a little, you know, finale shot for you. But that's them. All right, hopefully enjoying these videos I'm doing. Um, I'll see you real soon for the, um, the finished creation.